Moving on here. I got the same process here. The only difference is I want to do this by layout now. So I'm going to do it with intent on my design. So from that, I'm going to say alignment, alignment creation tools. From that alignment creation tools, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to call this rows. I'm not going to use design-based criteria. I'm going to use my layout tab. In reference to my alignment style, I'm going to select OK. From that, I have some parameters up here. These parameters, if I select this arrow down, I have curve and spiral settings. From that, we're going to use a cloth weight curve. There's different types of curves that we want to use. Um, NSW cubic parabola is newer. Sinusoidal, halfway by quadratic. Used over in Japan and China for high speed rail. In the States, we want to use clothoid. Again, um, I want to put in curves. So I'm just going to leave it at 200 because I'm laying this out by hand. So I'm going to select tangent, tangent with curves. So the beauty of tangent, tangent with curves is I'm going to start at this endpoint. So I'm just going to also snap to this endpoint. And then I'm just going to start picking points. So I see that there's a curve right there. I'm just going to kind of go there in terms of thinking where my point of intersection is here, over here, and then I'm going to come up, well, exit on my next point. Uh oh, so in, a, in a, a little bit here, let's do that. So we'll come up here again, tangent tangents with curves. And the, the beauty of working with this is we kind of can lay out what curve we want in here in reference to our site. And then we're going to snap to this endpoint. I want these vertexes to be at these endpoints. So I'm going to snap here. The beauty of this is I can go in and put in specific parameters. Now, we can clearly see that that curve distance is probably 200. This curve radius is probably 1500. No big deal. If I pick on my alignment, I have the ability to edit. I have the ability to edit, which is what I want to be able to do. So my point of intersection, my curve radius, I just snap to nearest, get it close. Pretty straightforward. So I'm able to move things around in terms of what I want to create. Move this out a little bit, a little bit more in terms of what I want to be able to create. So you can get it as close as you want in reference to your alignment. So from that alignment, now we want to look at this curve. Move this down just a little bit in terms of this intersection. Smooth that out. So even if we needed a little tangent in there, we could do that. I just want to get across the point that we want to be able to manipulate our alignments in reference to what we get from a architect or a vendor. So I'm going to create my next one, which is pretty straightforward. I'm going to come from left to right in reference to create my next alignment. So I'm going to create an alignment by layout. No big deal. I'm going to give this alignment a name. This alignment name is going to be called Parker. Pretty straightforward. Parker Place. I got some pretty creative names that I've kind of run into over the years. And I'm just going to select OK. It brings up this dialog box. I'm going to pick this arrow down and select tangent tangent with curves. I'm going to snap to this endpoint. When I snap to this endpoint, I'll just come right here and pick this point. Come right here and pick this point. So there's my endpoint. Right now, I just have tangent tangent. One of the things that we run into is we can put a free curve fillet between two entities. Here's my tangent in, 
This might tend it out. It prompts me, do I want a curve radius greater than 180 for my angle? Is the solution curve greater than or less than, <clears throat> that angle is less than 180, so I'll hit enter. So then it says 200 foot curve. I'm going to put a 1200 foot curve in there. And there's that 1200 foot curve. So I can create almost anything that I want in reference to someone giving me data. And we'll make that curve a little bit bigger. Someone giving me data, move that over a little bit. And I'm right there. And clearly, creating curves and data from polylines is going to be, but they may not be tangent. They may not be based upon my design parameters. So <clears throat> we definitely want to consider those things. So if we came back down, move this back up a little bit, and then let's change the radius here so we can just get it close. So from that, we also have this last one up here. So I'm going to close that. The beauty of working again with the alignment is I can come in here and say edit alignment geometry and say from my sub entity editor, I'm going to pick the sub entity. From that up sub entity, it tells me that's 2100 feet. I want that to be 1500 feet. There's my 1500 foot radius. So now I can move this down and around to get that close to the 1500 foot so <clears throat> nothing that we can't do in reference to our alignments so now we're going to create this last alignment from object and not from object we're just going to create this last alignment so right there you can see that there's some kind of little curve in there so from that we're just going to go alignments create by layout this row we're going to call uh, Mary Park Place. So from that, I'm just going to select OK. And then the same process, when I come into tangents, I'm going to do tangent, tangent with curves. Select OK, my start point. It's going to be here. I'm going to go to this endpoint, snap it right to it, and then snap right to this endpoint. And there is a curve in there. From that, we can add in a vertex. So I'm going to add in a PI. Bang, right there. From that PI, now I'm going to add in a curve. So I'm going to select free curve fillet between here and here. It's less than 180, and I say that's 200. So now that curve, which is here, if I pick on that, I can move that down to here in terms of that curve. At any point in time, I still have these parameters where I can come in and select my sub-entity from my alignment. And it gives me that information. So 1850, let's put 1850 in there. Let's keep it simple. Here's 1850. I can change my degree of curvature if I wanted to. So now that I have my alignments, creating an alignment from a polyline, again, most designers use polylines, lines of arcs to get past generating that horizontal control from the project. I mean, it's quite common for course, surveyors to kind of generate polylines for you from center to center to right away, which we could have offset also. So there's a lot of different ways that you can accomplish some of the same things. I know some of you out there have been doing this for some time. So oh, offsetting from the center line and creating an alignment would probably be simple for you guys. And I understand that. The thing that you want to keep in mind is, you know, drawing simple lines may not address your design parameters, specifically with horizontal geometry. So we definitely want to 
keep that in mind. And creating an alignment by layout addresses that.